I certainly do a lot of training on how do we ask the questions. How do we, because sometimes all we have is a feeling that something's not right with someone, especially if it's someone we know. It's different if it's a stranger, you don't know what their baseline is. You don't, what their, don't know where their normal is. But if it's somebody that you know and there's a shift in behavior in some way or in attitude or something, and you don't quite know what it is, but you have that little, oh, better to say something even if uh, it could be wrong. And that actually enhances connection. Now there's different ways to say things. You can either say, I can tell that your bipolar is acting up, so could you really, you know, you could do that. Um, or you could say, especially if you're worried that someone could be suicidal or, you know, if we want to go to, to, to that extreme, uh, especially in British culture, I don't know what you guys are like up here in Manchester, but it can be really hard to, to be direct, to say the tough stuff and just be direct because we're afraid of judgment or of getting things wrong. That's our biggest fear, right? Um, so I would say things like, I could be totally off base here, but I'm just feeling a little bit worried for some reason about you know, what's going on for you, and I just wonder if you want to chat. Like, is everything okay? So you're not making, if they say no, you're not making anyone wrong, because that's when we get into a fixed mindset. We get defensive, we go fight or flight if we think we're wrong, right? Um, but just being able to say the words. If you have a feeling, say the words. Like, check in with yourself, because it's always useful to separate out your trigger stuff from their stuff, right? Um, but saying the words and, and saying things like, I might be totally wrong here, but I just want to open up the conversation just in case. And that can kind of help. Does that help? Yeah? 